much of a sense did you have that the Titans were uh, had you on the radar? Um, you know, I honestly didn't have that that big of a sense. Um, you know, I I thought my name would be be called pretty early today. Um, I, I was hearing a lot about them, um, maybe coming to get me early this morning. Um, and, and now it's here. How do you feel your skill set matches, you know, so many things that the linebackers in the league are required to do, whether coverage, green dot, coming up and filling against the run, everything like that? Yeah, I, I think my talent fits perfectly. I think I'm a sideline to sideline backer, a guy who gets to the ball a lot. Uh, like you said, uh, uh, got to cover a lot. Uh, as linebackers today in the NFL, I think I have an athletic ability, uh, unique athleticism that be able to match up with tight ends, running backs, I mean receivers, and and be able to make plays. Who would you hear from on the call from the Titans, and what they tell you? Yeah, they they told me, you know, uh, do, do you want to be a Titan? Uh, it was it was kind of funny. He said, "Let me think about it for a second, You know, just joking around with me. Uh, but but they made me a Titan. I saw where you you are you're a big fan of Fred Warner, Zaire Franklin. What what is it about those guys that that you really like? Yeah, uh, Fred Warner, uh, just probably the best linebacker in the NFL right now. Uh, like I said, the way he gets sideline to sideline, his physicality, uh, his ability to create turnovers, um, that's something that I, I really enjoy, um, and 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 really. Uh, try to model my game after it. Um, and as far as Zaire, I think he's just one of the most complete linebackers in the NFL, somebody that I became a fan of uh, pretty recently. Um, it just plays the game very, very well, does a lot of things, just about everything at a very high level. Rick, Rick Carthon had mentioned uh, Fred Warner as a, a rookie who was capable of wearing the green dot helmet. For you as a rookie coming in and, and possibly assuming those duties, how, how do you feel you'll be able to do that? Yes, I, I I believe I would be able to do that. Um, that's something that I pride myself on, on having a great football mind, um, and, and understanding the game, understanding the defense, um, understanding where everybody's supposed to be, uh, but also understanding how the offense is trying to attack us, um, and be able to communicate and get everybody lined up. Uh, I see myself as a leader. Uh, I feel like I can lead lead a group of men. Uh, so I think that will fit perfectly in, in being a green dot guy. How much do you already you know about on? the guys that they have here, Cedric? Can you say that again? Yeah, how much do you already know about the guys that they already have here on defense? Uh, I don't know too much about them, um, but I'm excited to get in and ready to work with them, get with the guys, um, and just learn and continue to grow. Did you have any meetings with the Titans at any point in this process? Uh, no, I, no, I do believe not. How much do you uh, kind of pride yourself on being able to be that three-down linebacker, not have to come off the field in the passing situations? Yes, that's that's definitely something that I pride myself on. Like I said, just being a player of a complete game, having elite athleticism. Um, like I said, a sideline, a sideline ability uh, to get to the ball. I mentioned that I I believe I have really good cover skills. Um, all all things that you need to be a, a three-down linebacker in this league, um, and that's something that I can do. When, when did you kind of know this is what you wanted to do? And I think I read somewhere you got maybe brothers that kind of roughed you up a little bit to get you ready. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm playing football since I was a young age. It's been a dream of mine for, for a very long time. I got two older brothers who also play sports uh, growing up, and they, they were definitely hard on me, definitely rough on mm -hmm. me, uh, put a chip on my shoulder, made me tougher. Uh, so I'm appreciative of them. Uh, but that's that that they definitely are a tribute to helping to make me who I am. Who's who's on your medallion? This right here, this is my grandmother right here. She uh she recently passed away uh three years ago. So I wanted her to be here to be here today on this special moment. So I got her right here on this piece. What's what's her name? Bernice Cottrell. And what was the family reaction when uh when you got the call? Uh family was was super excited. Uh, very, very emotional. Um, it was, it was just a great feeling. I had lots of family here, friends here, uh, to support me. So I had a, a huge support cast. Lauren, go ahead. Hey, Cedric, congratulations. Um, yeah, of course. I, I know you used to play. Um wide receiver a bit in high school. Uh, I actually used to work in Winston Salem, um, so I've seen you 
play a little bit over at Carolina. I was wondering how you would describe the dynamic nature of your game. Yes, you know, I think I'm one of the things that I pride myself on is just getting to the ball. Uh, I think that's one of the, the best attributes that you can have as a linebacker um, is just being able to get to the ball. Like I said, being sideline to sideline, having a, a physical nature, uh, being athletic on the field and coverage. Like I said, I, I believe I truly have a complete game as a linebacker, um, and I think that will help me uh, going into the league. Kayla, go ahead. Right now. Hey, Cedric. Welcome to Nashville. Um, when it comes to just your experience, lots of ball that you played at North Carolina, mm -hmm. how much does that help you kind of transition to the next level, just having that experience? Right. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer uh, mm -hmm. that experience is, is is one of the best teachers out there. So, you know, like you said, being able to have three years of experience at Carolina, being two years a captain, uh, two years making a call on the defense um, and, and really just understanding the game and, and developing and, and gained a lot of snaps and have a lot of knowledge of the game, I, I feel like will only help me out uh, continuing forward in my football journey. Cedric, you had opportunities when you're in North Carolina to go on the portal or explore other things. What made you stay there? What do you think that says about you is as a player overall? Right, yeah. Um, you know, that portal thing never really um interests me. You know, I was able to get an opportunity to kind of play uh early on in my sophomore year. Um, and even continuously after that, teams uh try to pursue me. Uh but it, it just didn't make sense to me. I'm I'm a Carolina guy. Uh they love me over there. I've done great with them. Um and they and they showed me, me mad love. Why would I leave somewhere just to chase some NIL money or whatever the case is when you know, I have a family in Carolina and a, and a team and coaches who believe in me. Um, something that my mom always told me was don't rush your blessing. Um, and we're waiting on this blessing today. Um, and, and it came. And it came today. Tell us about your uh, your play recognition ability. Yes, you know, I believe I, I have great play recognition. Um, like I said, something that I pride myself on um, is having a high knowledge of, of the football game. Um, understanding defenses, understanding, like I said, how the offense is trying to attack us. Um, that's something that I've studied in the film sessions over the year, discussed with coaches, um, teammates, and I think that part of my game has evolved over the years as well. Um, and so just continually to do that um, going into the next level. When did that start happening for you, that knowledge, that evolution? When was that for you? Yeah, you know, I think when I got to college, I, I realized very early this isn't like high school. Uh, for me in high school, it was sea ball, hit ball. You know, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't know nothing about no cover three and we got to be in this gap and that gap and we got to react to this motion or that motion. Um, so very early on in college, I learned that I'm going to have to really um, start to learn and, and understand the game. And I think over the years, it, it just constantly, constantly grew. But I think the moment for me was, was the uh, summer going into my sophomore year where I think it really just clicked for me and everything started to make sense. Um, so I, I believe that I will continuously uh, to grow in that field moving forward. Why do you think you have such a knack for getting runners down behind the line of scrimmage? You had 23 tackles for loss the last two years. Yeah, um, you know, I believe I'm a, I'm also a good blitzer as well, a very downhill right. player. I, I believe I can play um, and, and make plays in the backfield. Like I said, I, have, I believe I have great athleticism. Um, um, to make those plays. Um, and, and like I said, just understanding the game, understanding run schemes, understanding different techniques, um, you know, when going up against teams or understanding the blocking scheme uh, to be able to kind of find a way into the backfield and make plays. You mentioned this moment, this day being a blessing for you. How are you going to celebrate this day and how are you going to play it forward? Yeah, just celebrating this day with friends and family. Uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of family here, a lot of friends here who are, here to support me throughout the ride, um, throughout the whole process. So just celebrate with them, hug my mom, my brother, my dad, my family, and, and just, you know, enjoy this moment. Cedric, even dating back to high school, I read that uh, you had a lot of opportunities to go play for some more competitive high schools with better records in the area, and you chose to stay home. So uh, what does that kind of loyalty that you've had with you for years say about your character and who the Titans are getting in their defense. 
Yeah, you know, like I think you 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 hit it right on the head. You know, just that loyalty aspect. You know, I'm a, I'm a very very family guy. You know, I believe in in the people that are around me, um, and and just developing that. And you know, it's it's much sweeter when you when you, when you work hard. You know, with the guys when you're at the bottom and you come up to the top. You know, rather than than going over here and and, and chasing something else or hopping on somebody mm -hmm. else's bandwagon. Um, so just sticking it out and just developing what your guys and putting the blood, sweat, and tear uh, to just keep developing, um, and and our time will come. Um, and that's something that I pride myself on. The Titans picked a 360-pound lineman in Tavondre Sweat uh, in the second round. How familiar are you with him? What's it gonna be like playing behind him in that in that defense on that draft class? Yeah, you know, I definitely heard a lot about him. Uh, got to see him up at the combine. I had a few conversations with him. Uh, definitely a, a a dominant force um in his game of a very very big dude very very solid guys i'm excited to play uh right behind him i know he's going to keep the big guys off of me so i'm excited to get ready to go with him you ever been in nashville no i've not i've never been to nashville i'm ready to go though appreciate it Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.